Good evening. Tonight, hundreds of local homes and businesses are dealing with wind damage and power outages following a day-long high wind event. The number of outages was in the thousands earlier today. Let's take a look at the latest numbers. In Monroe County, power has been restored to a large number of customers. Earlier, we had about 3,400 outages. That's down now to around 600. Ontario and Wayne County currently have fewer than 50 homes and businesses without electricity. Let's send it out now to Josh Navarro, live in Irondequa. He's been checking in with utility companies and even spoke to a tree removal company about the damage. Josh, what can you tell us? John, tree trimmers just uh, wrapped up cutting this big tree that you see behind me that pulled down the power lines. They just left. But now utility crews are trying to restore power to this neighborhood. They say trees that have shallow root systems plus the high, spin, uh, high speed winds is the perfect combination for power outages. This is what Ogden Parma town line looked like today, roped off with caution tape and cones, all because of this big tree was uprooted from the strong winds. It knocked down power lines, but this wasn't the only place that utility crews were busy. In Irondequoit off Windsor Road, a tree knocked out power to at least 100 homes. When they go like that, they don't make that much noise usually because, you know, the, the wires held it, and then what crunched is the little parts that hit on that side. When RG&E crews show up, so do tree trimmers to help out. We have to wait for RG&E to de-energize the power. The power is still going here. We have to wait for them to de-energize the lines before we can do anything with that. They take extra precaution on days like this because of the fierce winds can pose a threat. It's, it's a little more dangerous if we have to climb a tree and, and such like that. You know, I mean, you don't know what's going to break or fall down or whatever, especially in these big gusts of wind. Now the tree trimmers just wrapped up here and they're on to the next job. They tell me on windy days like this, they keep busy. They go to, uh, they'll still be working till the next morning at times. So they'll be busy throughout the evening too. We are live in Arondequoit. I'm Josh Navarro. John, I'll send it back to you.